Lots of rupels, griffins, white-faced vultures, white-faced, white-backed vultures. And then, of course, that monstrous leopard-faced vulture there. Look how big he is. He's a magnificent fellow, isn't he? Hello, Campy and Dewey's Mummy. What an uh, interesting Twitter handle you have, Campy and Dewey's Mummy. You want to know the collective noun for vultures? Well, biologically it would be a flock. Any bird would be a flock. Um, I suppose that there are probably a number of other words that are used for fun. Uh, you'll find them in sort of safari books, I guess. I don't know of a... Uh, there is one, there is another one but it wouldn't be used in a biological way. So, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what it is. I'm sure somebody will tell you, though, and me, therefore. So if anybody has an idea what, a, just for fun, a group of vultures is called, other than a flock, I'd love to know. I have definitely heard it before, unless somebody made it up, which is quite possible. But it's not like a sort of murder of crows. It's not as well established as that, or a parliament of owls, or something like that, which are kind of well established in the English lexicon, although they're not really used uh, biologically. <laughs> All right, now we have a comment here from uh, Louise Pavid in the final control in South Africa, and she says it's a kickle of vultures, a noise that that comes, it's an onomatopoeic name that comes from the way they fly. I'm not sure that I've ever heard a vulture go kickle, kickle as it flies over the top of me, but I'm going to go with Louise's uh, kickle of vultures there. Sounds as good as anything I've heard before. Oh, kettle. A kettle of vultures because of the boiling noise they make when they fly. I think I'm getting it right now. A kettle of vultures. That's quite cool. I don't. I, I'm not sure. I don't think Louise made that up. So I'm sure it comes from somewhere. Thank you, Louise. Well done. Good job. Good morning to you. And in case you're wondering, of course we are operating this. It's not just presenters and cameramen who are operating. There's the white back of the white backed vultures. We are not just operating this as presenters and cameramen from two different locations. The two final controls are operating at the same time. So in South Africa we've got Megan and Louise there and out here I think today is just Chantal and maybe Alice helping her out. I'm not sure. Just me, says Chantal, rather sadly. Ah, now, F Fuzzman Sparkles, I don't believe I've heard from you for a little while. You want to know about the palm nut vulture and whether it occurs here. The answer, of course, is that I don't know, but I'm going to look for you right now. And the answer is no, they are not found here. Now, a palm nut vulture, although found often on the coast, and in certainly it is found in Kenya on the coast, it's not found in this area. You do find them away from the coast, uh, unsurprisingly, or quite interestingly, only, I'm looking at a map now, I'm not just sort of sucking this out of my brain, you find them on the western banks of the of Lake Victoria and up towards Rwanda and Burundi and I think you'll find that the rainfall in those areas is that much higher than it is here and I think that you'll therefore find unsurprisingly Fergus? Palms. palms, good, palms. And um, palms, of course, form the backbone of the diet for the palm nut vulture, which will also eat other things. It will scavenge as well, but largely it will also it will eat palm nuts. Righty, Trailer, I believe, has managed to find something much smaller than a palm nut vulture. Let's go and find out what it is.